What's going on everybody, it's Eric Rayweather back here helping you take your game to the next level and in today's video I'm going to be showing you one of the glitchiest passing plays in Madden 18. Now if this is your first time checking out one of my videos and you want to improve your Madden game, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Make sure to hit the bell icon so that you join the notification squad and never miss an upload. So what's up guys, like I said today I'm going to be showing you one of the glitchiest passing plays in the game. We are in the West Coast Playbook. Uh, I believe this play might only be in the West Coast playbook, but if it is in some other playbooks and you know, please correct me in the comments section below. The formation we want to look at is the single back doubles north, and the play we want to look at is wide receiver corner. Uh, single back doubles north is definitely one of the more slept on formations in the game this year. It's one of the best parts of the West Coast playbook, which is one of the more popular playbooks this year, so I figured it was time to give you guys another play out of it and this will kind of be almost like a two in one tip because first thing I want to really show what makes this play glitchy is this C route this short C route as many of you know is really hard to defend this year especially when you low pass him but with this play in particular it can be really really tough to defend and you want to put a 91 route runner where Julio Jones is in that spot uh, just for the best results so I'm going to show some other like setups to the play eventually but first I want to just show you the C route because that's what really makes the play great so I'm just going to block the running back uh, just for some extra protection and I'm just going to show you pretty much how this beats you want to just like motion him in a few steps and then he got that was just weird right there he got caught up so let me just throw this ball away he got caught up there with the uh with the tight end but you're going to want to low pass this C route right when he cuts and it's pretty much going to beat any coverage in the game it's it's really really hard to stop you see here that was a cover four low past it and Casey Hayward is a 91 zone defender again we're going to show cover four once more want to leave this flat route out here we're just going to motion him in a few steps right when he cuts low ball it possession catch it 91 zone will never have a chance to jump down on it it's just it's just too good so here we'll show you cover three it's going to be a very similar result motion him in a few steps right when he cuts boom low ball possession catch in coverage now cover two is going to be it cover two is going to look like it's going to stop it but it's rarely ever going to stop it as you're going to see here cover two low ball it he got in front of the defender there but he got a weird animation but you're going to see like it's going to look defended but the cornerback's never really going to react to it the low ball corner route is just very it's very very tough to defend this year see again through the low ball and actually that's the glitchy animation you get a lot of times against cover two, which is really, it's really bad. It, sh it shouldn't happen. I'm going to go to the replay here. That animation happens a lot against cover two, I've noticed. Like, you, you go for the possession catch. So here, you see, we're throwing it as he's breaking. So we're also doing the break point passing. We're throwing the low ball right when he breaks. So you see, like, K Casey Hayward kind of, like, gets sucked all the way inside and gets behind Julio. Now, I'm going for a possession catch. So Julio should fall on the ground here. But a lot of times, this dumb animation happens where he kind of starts to fall for a second. And then he gets back up and starts running. And it's... When that happens, you get huge plays out of it. I mean, I wouldn't expect it to happen, but it does happen more often than you would think. So I'm going to show it again. Show it against cover two again, because I don't want you to think that this is like fluke. Because it does look like it's well defended. But as you can see again, cornerback gets sucked to the inside, won't defend it. Now, another thing about this play that I want to touch on. If you're playing someone that's just spamming cover two, that's all they like to run. Because a lot of people you face online will just sit in cover two all game. If they're just running cover two all game, what you can do that's even easier is you can just max protect and you don't even have to motion. You can just break point pass it against a 91 zone guy and just completely glitch him out, which I'm going to show you right here. Well, I didn't uh, I didn't go to cover two there. That was cover four. So let me let me switch the coverage. Sorry about that. So if you're just playing someone that just spams cover two all game, you can literally max protect this and just break point past the C route watch. And you see how Casey Hayward just like went all the way inside. I'll do it one more time to show you. Again, this is only if people are just spamming cover two. You can still low paw pass it, but you can also just max protect and just and just break point past the C route. Because with the 91 zone guy, they're always going to suck inside just like that. And always be a couple steps behind them. So, just another thing you want to note there. So, but if they're mixing their coverages up a lot, you can just low pass it every play. So, you have to force them to go over there and try to user guard that. So, what I like to do on the other side of the field is... I put Y on a flat, and then I put X on a on smart routed out. So I put him on a regular out route, and then the smart route him, 
you press wire triangle, you select his icon, and then you hit RB or R1, depending on which system you're on. That makes his route run to the first down marker. So now what happens here is we have an easy little high-low read on this side of the field. So if they're using that C route, then we just read the defense. We say, okay, they're on the flat route. We go to Sanu. Now I'm going to show you in, an, in the event that they're not playing underneath then we would just quit past the flat route. So you have you have a high low on both sides of the field uh, technically. So you see here, quick pass to Taylor Gabriel, pick up five yards, nothing crazy, but that's what you're doing on the other side of the field. You're creating a high low. And you still have a high low on the right side of the field as well. So let's say they're running like a cover three, but they're not shading underneath. You can still low pass the, um, the C route, sure, but if the flat route to the tight end's wide open, just take it. Like right here, you see how the tight end's just wide open? Just take the take the flat route to the tight end. There, I shouldn't have rat caught that. That was just bad by me. I could have got more yards out of it, but we'll run it again. So like again, like you don't have to just don't get tunnel vision on the C route. The C route is just something that you have to make the user respect. But if you see that like the tight end's just open in the flat, boom, you can just go to the flat and you see right there, easy six yards. Always look for the flat first. If the flat is open, that's that's one of like the biggest tips I always try to give people. If the flat is open, take the flat every time because that that is the discipline that makes you a better player. Again, the flat's open, you just take the flat because why are you going to look like right there? That flat route got us nine yards before contact, then we fell forward and got 12. You should never be passing up an easy five plus yards, ever. Never, never pass up an easy five plus yards. Okay, but if, if they're on the flat route that time, that was just a bad throw by Matt Ryan. But if they're on the flat route, bam, low pass the C route every single time. Never, never, ever pass up the easy flat route if it's there. Even on this side of the field, so Gabriel, again, okay, the flat route's wide open, boom. Easy 11 yards, never pass it up. But what makes the play really tick and what makes it glitchy is the fact that you can low pass that C route pretty much versus any coverage. And your worst case scenario, for the most part, is an incomplete pass. Like, man, why is Matt Ryan throwing these terrible passes? Like, that's ridiculous. He, he's, his ratings are too good to be throwing any passes that consistently bad, but we'll do it again. Anyway, um, Julio keeps falling into his guy. But again, if it's there, low pass it every time. And your worst case scenario is an incomplete pass. If the coverage is really tight, that's your worst case scenario. But you're going to force them to go over there and use that. And then you can just check to your high, low read on the left side of the field. And not to mention... This is just one really good play out of this formation, but another thing that makes this formation good is there's something else that you have to really respect, which is the halfback pitch. So now I'm kind of just going like three tips in one here, and we'll just go like random play because you also have a pitch on this play, right? And one thing you can do with the pitch is you can motion this guy. Now, clearly, once you motion him all the way over, it's a little bit more of a giveaway that you're running the pitch. But the thing is, you're also most, most uh, excuse me, I'm tongue tied here. You're also motioning him on the pass play too, but you're motioning him a few steps. So when you go to do that motion with him, for a split second, they don't know if they need to worry about the pitch going to the left. And this is the exact same pitch from single back tight slots, the halfback pitch. It's the, literally the same pitch, except it's just in doubles north. But when you go to motion in those first few steps, they don't know if they got to worry about the C route or if they got to worry about the quick pitch. And that is tough because obviously the pitch is one of the best, if not the best run in the game. So they have to worry about defending the best run in the game to the left side of the field. But they have to also worry about defending the low ball C route on the right side of the field. And then, of course, you could come out and just quick snap the pitch as well. And we just got blown up there. But you can come out and quick snap the pitch as well if you if you see it favorable and not even worry about the motion like right there. And that was just terrible blocking. Like, that's just, that's just bad, EA. Hold on. We need to look at this because that's just, this is ridiculous. Look how bad this blocking was here. Look, look at 67. He's just like, nah, I'm good. And I'm not even holding turbo here. He's just like, nah, I'm good. Like, that, that should have been like a 10-yard run. But anyway, kind of dig digressing here a little bit. But, uh. There, there, there's the good block. So anyway, they have to worry about defending that run to the left side of the field. They have to worry about the low ball C route on the right side of the field. That one-two punch alone just makes it good. And then, of course, if you mix in any kind of inside run, if they're, you know, if they're not respecting the inside run as well, you can go up the middle for four to five yards too. So the formation as a whole is just a lot to deal with. But those two plays alone make this formation so tough to defend. And that low ball C route works with any C route. Like, you could do the same thing in Gun Bunch. It doesn't have to just be this formation, but I feel like it's really the most hard to stop out of this formation. So, use wide receiver corner, use the halfback pitch. Those two plays alone 
you mix that in with all the other stuff that West Coast Playbook has, the amazing gun bunch, and it's just a very, very tough formation to stop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. As always, if you did, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.